Are you sick and tired of blowing money on Google, getting mediocre results, um, having to compete, like you know, with people that have been there for a very long time and have huge budgets, and uh, you know, uh, happen to not care that they're wasting a whole bunch of money on Google? Well, I've got some good news for you, because you have the opportunity right now. You can still get in early and start reaping the benefit of the Facebook machine and send yourself hordes of traffic, getting thousands of visitors to your brand daily. Facebook is probably, um, well, the one of the strongest entities, at least online, I would say. And it doesn't matter what you're trying to sell. Okay, we all know that the internet is the best place to get more people interested in your business, hands down, right? Uh, the internet itself, almost 2 billion users online. Okay, that's crazy. That's, that's, that's an amount of exposure that businesses could have only dreamed of years ago. So the amount of traffic that you can get to your website is limited, really, only by your own dedication and your imagination. And so what I want to do is show you how you can take Facebook and use it as yet another fantastic source of even more traffic. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you up front here. There is no one single solution to what you should be doing to get your traffic. If you're only utilizing one source of traffic, you're cutting your own throat. Simple as that. You want to get the most traffic that you can, you have to use different aspects, different resources. And Facebook is yet another one of those. So the first thing we got to talk about is what is Facebook, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. Hopefully, you know what it is. I hope I don't have to tell you what Facebook is. But, I mean, everybody uses it, right? But just in case you have not jumped on the bandwagon yet. Um, you know, maybe you happen to have just gotten your first computer last week and uh, you just now found out what Facebook is. Well, we'll go ahead and explain it. It is a social network and it is actually the largest social network. It allows people to connect and to keep up with each other. They can share pictures. They can share thoughts. Uh, they can even play games together. They can send messages back and forth. Uh, they can do kind of like a little micro blog kind of thing and just update people uh, as far as what they are doing, what they're thinking about. So it's a place for people to socialize. Now, just like with AdWords, Facebook can get you some really good traffic very, very quickly. What you're going to find, though, and this is like the icing on the cake, is that the traffic that Facebook sends you, you are more than likely going to find that it is better targeted and less expensive. Okay, think about what that means for ROI. If you're spending more money on Google and not getting the, the kind of targeted traffic that you need, and over here on Facebook, you're spending less money but getting more targeted traffic, think about the potential there. I mean, I love the fact that when I go to Facebook, because I use it personally, right? Just me as a person. When I go there, Facebook knows me. It knows my interests. It knows things that I talk about, what I'm into. And the ads that I do see are relevant to me. It's awesome. The demographics that they collect at Facebook makes it possible for them to basically give me a custom tailored ad campaign. So I go there, I see things that I care about. How cool is that? Now let's talk about AdWords for just a minute. AdWords did give us instant traffic. Okay, we had a huge potential for sales, and there was a time when, you know, AdWords was like the thing and you could make a lot of money. That's the way it used to be. 
over the years, AdWords has proven that it really does have some major flaws. As the network has grown, there's been a lot of things come up that really, you know, just cause a lot of problems, make it very difficult. Uh, there's a huge network of competition uh, with AdWords. And the pricing there naturally just goes up, right? The more competition there is, the uh, more competitive the pricing has to be because AdWords works on a bid type uh, platform. So the more people you get there, the more money that is going to be put up to beat out others and get better positioning. So it's become, you know, kind of a, a headache to me, actually, and I've, I've steered away from it altogether. The question is, can you walk away from the AdWords machine? And if so, how do you do it? Because the fact is we've got to have traffic. We need to have organic traffic and we need to have paid traffic. If you're serious about this business, folks, you are going to pay for clicks. That's the bottom line. So how do we get away from the AdWords machine when we need that traffic? Answer, simple. Facebook. It is cheaper right now, much cheaper. The traffic is more targeted and the user base at Facebook grows every single day. There are a crazy amount of users on Facebook and their new users are being added all the time. Okay, from uh, you know some teenager hopping on to grandma and grandpa wanting to keep up with the family, Facebook is growing by leaps and bounds. In the next video, I want to talk to you about some of the reasons why Facebook is so stellar and uh, how you can take advantage of those reasons.